Hi guys, today going to be making some islands from scratch. I've not built this before, so this was a bit of an experimental piece for me. And to start with, we're going to cut some oval shapes out of some plastic, which I got from a blister pack. So unfortunately, mine did have some divots on, which I had to remove later. But next, we're going to grab a chunk of styrofoam, and we're going to cut that down to a half sphere shape. And we want a mixture of hard and soft edges for this, so initially I went in with a knife, and then I started picking at the side with my fingers, as well as using a sculpting tool to run lines across the side and then flick them out with the edge. This is good for getting some kind of natural looking walls. Then going in with a tinfoil ball to give it texture all over, and the edge of the tinfoil ball to roll the size further in and give it a kind of natural kind of cliffy bluff to the side of it. Just working all over, making sure every surface has some texture put onto it. Then removing the divots from the piece of plastic. Next, I wanted a stack next to the main island, so grabbing an off piece, rolled the tinfoil ball around it, and then emphasized the look of those rocks by using the edge of a sculpting tool. And cluing it all on to the same base. Then, mixing up a mixture of a finer cork flock and a coarser flock, and adding PVA to make it into a paste. And then we want to go around the edges of the island with this, because it's going to be the smaller rocks and the sand that make up the edges. So I made up too much of the mixture, so decided to try and make a sandbank by cutting another overall plastic and then just putting the paste on and building up a mound. Then going back in and smoothing it out. Then using another rough cut I made a third island, because why not? Then. We want to prime all of the pieces using black gesso. And it doesn't matter if you go over the edge onto the clear plastic, we will be tidying that up and trimming that later. Just make sure you have good coverage over all the flock to help attach that to the base, as well as hiding any of the blue foam underneath. Next, we're going to go in with a mixture of brown and white. And we're going to give this a base coat on all the islands. Now you want to make sure you give a reasonably solid coating of this. And the colour will change depending on what area of the world you want your islands to be from. Going for a very kind of neutral, almost Mediterranean look for mine. And again, it doesn't matter if you go on the plastic base for this, we will be tidying that up later. Then, 
mixing a small amount of black to a larger amount of white. I'm going to make a mid grey tone and hit some highlights on where the rock is showing through the island. I added a tiny bit of the brown to this mixture as well to keep it in the same colour palette. Then adding some yellow, mixing that in with the white and the grey, just to give the sand along the edges a bit more vibrancy. Now grabbing a sculpting tool, a uh, toothpick would work as well, we're just going to use the side of it to scrape the paint where it overflowed onto the base. Uh, you probably don't want to use a knife for this in case you scratch your plastic. Just going around, tidying up all the bases. There we have some serviceable islands. Although I'm going to be a little bit extra, grab some water texture paste and apply it around the edges to represent waves. So just slowly globbing this around the edges and then pushing it towards the island to simulate waves. Now, once that's dry, just grabbing a pair of scissors and trimming the excess plastic off, which also helps to give it a nice round edge. This will also help counter some of the warping that you might get. Ideally, you want to use a slightly stronger plastic than the one I used. I'm not quite happy with these at the moment, so grabbing an even lighter, almost white colour. Just going to go and hit the highlights on the top. If you wanted to, you could add a light green dry brush to be some kind of foliage and growth on the islands at this stage. But I'm just hitting the edges of the rocks here to add some a top level highlight to them. And there we go. We have some very quick and easy scratch built islands that you can use for anything you want. Be using mine for dystopian wars. But they will be usable in any setting. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.